All righty. 1,800 foot-pounds of torque, you guys. So I'll be surprised if either of them could even do it. But we will see. All right, so we are going to do a versus video against the Milwaukee and Ryobi new mid-range impact wrenches. Now, both of these are very powerful. The Milwaukee is a little bit more compact than the Ryobi is, but in this video, the Ryobi is going to get a little boost with the DeWalt 21700Cell XR 6 amp hour battery. I do have an adapter, and it works. All right, so let's go over the specs of these really quick and uh, see what these can do against each other. So first, the Milwaukee. This is mount number 28. Sorry, 2962-20. Four speed settings, one to three, then then auto. This goes to 3100 uh, impacts per minute and 2575 RPM. I'm assuming that's on speed three. And it does have a tri-LED beam on the front. I'll put the proper torque in right now. But yeah, this is the Milwaukee mid-range. We will be using a six amp hour high output battery. Battery is full. And the Ryobi, this is model number P262. Uh, it has uh, four speed settings, one to three, then auto. This goes to zero to 2,800 RPM and zero to 3,200 impacts per minute. So this, surprisingly, is actually faster by 275 RPMs. That's actually pretty interesting. So the Ryobi is actually a little bit faster. But I am curious to see how well it's going to do with the 6 amp hour DeWalt battery. This battery does have 21700 cells, and the battery is full. And let's see what these can do against each other. Uh, all right, so before we bust some nuts, what I want to do is I actually want to get these motors warm and possibly hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we are going to do one 6 inch lag each, and then one 5 eighths by 8 inch lag each. This is a tough task. This is going to get those motors hot. And so I want to get these motors working before we actually bust some hardcore nuts. And we'll check it at the end of the video one more time. Battery is full on the Milwaukee. And the battery is full for the Ryobi. Remember DeWalt 6 amp hour battery. All right, so let's do the uh, Milwaukee first. Right here is good. Let's lay that down so that doesn't slide. Up, oh, it's on speed three. Ready, go. All right, we're gonna redo that. Gotta put a little, put a little bit more down for us in the beginning. Ready, go. I think that's it. Oh, a little bit more. My bad. That's it. Time. That was pretty. This this is a beast. This is a beast. But I'm excited to see what the Ryobi will do with the DeWalt battery. Right here is good. Ready. Go. Time. Not too shabby. Now, I, I do not know the test results until I edit the video, but I do feel that the Milwaukee did drive its in better. That's just how I feel, but I do not know. I might be wrong. All right, but let's take it out. Like I said, I want these motors to get warm so we could bust some nuts. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby. That thing's a beast. All right, so let's take out the Ryobis. All right, so ready? Go. I don't know. That's a, this is this is a close one. Now the real question is, I got to do a video on it. Will this uh, work better with a Dewalt battery or a Ryobi battery? I got to put that to the test. So please subscribe to the channel for that. I will be doing a test to see if that does better with the DeWalt or the Ryobi. Oh, they both are half-inch anvils with a friction ring. 
All right, let's do the Milwaukee first. Now this is gonna get these motors nice and warm. All right, so right here is good. Ready, go. Time. All right, so let's put the Ryobis in. Let's see how well this motor does against this one. Right here is good. It's on speed three, it's on forward. All right, so ready, go. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Time. All right, you guys. I w after seeing that perform like that, you guys got to give Ryobi a lot more credit than what they used to be. That that doing that that easily, without hesitation, because it did that pretty fast. That is a powerful impact wrench. It, it really is. Ryobi needs to get more credit than what they're used to getting. All right, but let's. Uh, I will admit that there is a there is a bit of a size difference. When it comes to these two, there, there is a uh, big size difference. So even in thickness, so, but still it's a Ryobi product and it's, it, it did, it did good. It did good. All right. So let's take this one out. All right. So ready, go. Time. All right. So. Ready, go. I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. That was, that's too close to call. That is way too close to call, to call on who won. Alrighty, so we got, the, we got these motors uh, warmed up. Let's bust, uh, bust some nuts. Oh well, I'll take care of that later. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna have these two verse each other when it comes to tightening. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tighten this much as much as I can with this tool and I'm gonna see if Ryobi could bust the nut with it. That's that. That is that. All right, let's see if Ryobi could bust those. All right, so ready, go. Yes, they can. All right, so let's tighten these with the Ryobi. And then we're going to do this one more time with the bigger nuts. That's about it that the real be that's about it that the real be will tighten all right so let's see if this could bust the nuts these are gonna be timed by the way to the tenth of a second let's see which ones could bust the, the each other's nut faster ready go it did it right, and so the last but not least let's take care of these ones as you can see both of these are loose we might have to bust that one a tad a tad bit loosen that all right those are loose both of them are all right so let's tighten this up first then have uh real be busted ready go that's about it for that ready go that's about it for that one uh, let's see if Ryobi could bust these. This one first. All right, so ready? Go. Yes, it can. Next one. Ready? 
go. That one took a little bit, but it was able to do it. All right, so let's have Ryobi tighten these now and see if uh, Milwaukee could bust them. All right, ready? Go. That's about it for Ryobi. Uh. That's about it for that one. All right, let's see if Milwaukee could bust these nuts. Now remember, the back one for the Ryobi took a little bit longer, so let's see if Milwaukee could bust these faster. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Next one. Ready? Go. Yeah, they both took about this, uh, uh, they, they both seem to take a little bit on the last one. All right, so let's whip out the 1,800 foot-pound, one-inch Milwaukee impact wrench. Tighten those up and see if they could uh, if they could bust them. All righty, so next let's tighten uh, this up. Let's tighten both of these up to. Uh, I'm going to run this for like about seven seconds each, and we'll see which one actually uh, could bust the nut faster, if not even bust the nut. All right, so let's tighten them up. There we go. Let's tighten this one. All righty. 1,800 foot pounds of torque, you guys. So I'll be surprised if either of them could even do it. But we will see. All right, we'll do the Milwaukee first. All right, so we'll do a final temperature reading after this. Ready? Go. Okay. Time. And the final battery life is at three bars. Temperature is at 86, 87 degrees. Milwaukee got up to 87 degrees with a three, ba three bars left. Yeah, the Ryobi is lighter. I need to get a, I need to get a scale. All right, so let's, uh, and let me put this back in. All right, so let's take this apart. Ready? Go. It did it. I think the Milwaukee probably did it a little bit faster though. I, I, that's how I feel. All right, so the final battery life on here is still three bars on a uh, full bars on a three bar system. The Milwaukee is a four bar system. And the final temperature of this is 86, so 89 somewhere. Oh well, 86, 86 degrees. All right, so once again, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but I feel that they sort of perform the same. Now, would the Ryobi perform differently with a Ryobi battery? I 100% think it would. I think this battery gave it a major boost because this battery does have 21700 cells in it and Ryobi only makes one battery with 21700 cells and that's the 3 amp hour high output battery which the new HP batteries do not have 21700 cells yet but they might in the future so more versus videos coming up you guys this one actually surprised me I'm surprised that it actually performed the same so that's pretty much it I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining Please like this video, please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, I'll see you guys next time.